Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Eddie. Today we're going to be talking about Billy Milligan, the man who has twenty-four different personalities. Now, the reason why he has twenty-four different personalities is because he has dissociative identity disorder. That's DID for short, and it means that there are different types of people in your in yourself. Like me, I'm just me. I'm by myself. But the people who have DID, they have like different people inside you. Like、um, my name is Eddie, but then I might have another person named Billy that's good at something else, that's born in somewhere else, and probably has different like even skin color than me. But obviously your appearance doesn't change. You just share the same body. Now this Billy Milligan we're going to be talking about today is probably one of the most famous people who have DID. In October 1971, at the state Ohio in America, three consecutive robbery cases happened in under ten days, and according to the victim's description, the process of the robbery cases are exactly the same. So while they were in car park parking, the person came in and then forced them to drive him into the bank and then asked him asked them to give the money to him. When Billy was arrested. He acted very innocent. Like he had no idea what was happening, no violence. He just followed the police, but then he was very confused. But nobody thought he had like dissociative identity disorder back then, because that's what normally criminals do—just act innocent and stuff. So the police thought he was acting, and then captured him. But while he was captured, he was very angry and agitated. Started like knocking his head onto the wall and stuff. So the police got him like a suit where you put your hands like in there and then stick around so you can't like move your hand, so there will be there will be no violence or like self abuse happening. That's when the police thought this dude is like a bit weird, so they called the a psychologist and then let them came to visit Billy. So the psychologist came in and started asking Billy questions. One of the questions was, "What's your ID number?" Billy said, "I don't have an ID number." Then the psychologist was like, "Is then your ID number blah 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 blah?" Because they got his identity obviously before, and Billy said, "That's Billy's ID number, not mine." The psychologist was like, "Whoa!" Then who are you? Then Billy was like, "I'm David." Then the psychologist said, "Then where's Billy?" So the, David said, "Billy's asleep." Psychologist said, "In where?" In here. <laughs> Well, I'm not really sure whether if the psychologist believed him, but the psychologist was like, "Can I talk to Billy for a sec?" Then David said, "You can't call Billy without Arthur's approval." Then the psychologist was like, "Who's Arthur?" He's like, "Arthur is another person." You, if you call, he said, "If you call Billy up, Billy will suicide." Just to mention, this story can get very, very confusing. Like, I'm not even sure whether if I get it, but then I just try to tell you the story, you know. Now back to the story. The psychologist asked Billy whether, well, David in this case, whether he can get Arthur for him, and realized that、uh, that David was behaving very young because he was like showing his nails and stuff. So he asked Billy, like, "How old are you?" Not Billy, David. Ah, I'm in chaos. Don't talk to me. All right, I'm back. So the psychologist asked David about how old is he. David said, "I'm eight, almost nine." And so the psychologist was like, "This guy is definitely psycho." And then he said, "Can you call Arthur for me?" And then the magic happened. So David was like, just put his head down, and then was memory something like, and the second later, boom, Arthur came back. Well, it's the Arthur that made the psychologist actually believe that he he has DID because this Arthur talks into like this deep British accent. It's like, I'll have one chance and stuff. Well. Yeah, he just have these like aristocratic British accent that you can't like copy or anything without living in Britain and stuff. When Arthur woke up, he was very confused about where was he and why is this all? What is this all happening? So the psychologist had to explain to him about what the situation was. Then Arthur said, "Well, if you want to call Billy, you need the approval from all of us." So then he just switched and then turned to a dude called Alan. Now the Alan is the one the only social person in the twenty-four personality. The rest is like very shy. Now through this Alan, because he's very talkative and stuff, 
the pers- the people realize that there's 24 personalities, and if you want to decide who is going to be the person controlling the body, Arthur is the one to decide. That's when the psychologist was like, this is getting really confusing, she needs another hand. So, so she called more psychologists. At first, none of these scientists really believed that there were actually DID, and then he has different personalities inside him. But then, through the investigation in Billy, they realized that he actually do, because all different personalities is like very steady, and then has signature, like if this person is called Alan, he's right-handed, and he won't write with his left hand, when the other people will just write with their left hand. And then, out of the 24 personalities, the youngest one, is called Kristen, is a girl. She, Christina, I think. I'm not sure, I forgot. But she's a girl, and she's only three years old. And then she can't, like, read. She has reading disorder or something. And then she, she told the psychologist that Arthur is helping her to read, which means they can, like, interact with each other inside their body, and they can influence each other. But... You know, out of these personalities, they can never grow. So, if this person was three years old when she, this personality was developed, he stays that age. That he never changes. So, there's some person that's three forever, and there's person who's that's twenty six, and the the oldest person is twenty six year old years old, and he's the only one that doesn't have a name. His name is just teacher. He's the one that has all the memories of the other personalities and. He's like a combination of the 23 personalities combined, and he's the wisdom one stuff. Now this teacher thinks that he is the actual core personality, so the original one, but he is actually not. Although he has like all 23 different people's memories, and then he's the one to teach them knowledge and stuff, but he, the Billy is actually the core personality. Billy, while he was 19 years old, he wanted to suicide. But he has like multi personalities back then, so he was like stopped and stuff. And then he's been asleep from nineteen. I think he was twenty six when he got like arrested and stuff. So he hasn't woke up for like seven years. All these seven years, it was his other personalities that controlled his body and stuff. And Arthur doesn't let people to wake Billy up because he'll suicide if he like come up, come back. After three months of negotiation with Arthur and like try to convince him to wake up Billy, Arthur finally approved. So when Billy was finally woke up after seven years, he was so confused. He was like, where am I? What is this? Am I dead or not? That's when the doctors realized that Billy have no idea that the other personalities exist. So in his presentation is he can travel time. So suddenly he falls asleep. When he comes back, it's about like seven years later. So, whoa. But all the other 23 personalities knows Billy exists. So, poor Billy. Now, Billy has a really important personality that we're going to be talking about now. His name is Regan, and he is Yagoslav. So, and he speaks four different languages. I forgot what the fours are, but it's like English and Yagoslav, obviously. And he, the point of him being very important is he is very strong. He can control his adrenaline and stuff, which is just like... It's like professional boxes and stuff. So he can suddenly become very strong and then break bricks and stuff. He's very strong, just like me. I'm like Dwayne Johnson. But he, but he have one problem. And that's when this personality comes in, Billy's view becomes black and white. Like, he becomes colorblind. Only black and white. Now remember, he has a personality that doesn't have a name called the teacher that teaches everybody knowledge. And how he has all the memories of the 23 personality, so all the memories. And through this teacher, the doctors and like psychologists realize why Billy became what he is today. Why does he have 24 personalities? Billy is born in 1995 on the Valentine's Day. His father is a comedy actor. His mother is a nightclub singer. And his father was really poor and stuff. Because although he's an actor, but he's not famous or anything, so he's really poor. And he, obviously, his mother doesn't really earn that much either. So, And his father got addicted to gambling and drugs and alcohol. So one day, his father couldn't stand the stress and then suicided. So leaving... um, Billy was three when his father suicided. That's when his first personality grew up, which is called Christina. So, yeah. And his mother then married twice. 
and all of his stepfathers was like really bad to him. That's why he had such a bad life and he developed many personalities. Now all of these personalities is like were made because he needed to be protected. For example, when she he was four, he developed a personality called Shawn. That's when he's he did something wrong, and then his mother was yelling at him. And this Shawn person is deaf, so he can't hear anything. When people are yelling at him and saying things that he doesn't want to hear, this Shawn comes out and then just ignores everything for him. But obviously, he has a really tragic life, and his father, you sometimes stepfather, you sometimes like grab him and then lock him into like a room or anything and beat him up and stuff. That's why he developed this. Personality that's called Tommy that's really good at escaping. Like when sometimes when his father lock him or like tie him up onto a rope, he can like escape everything. That's how. I remember when he got caught, he he was wearing this suit that just locks him up. Yeah, that that's the personality who got it, who got him out of there. And then the police try to figure out which personality actually did those crimes. Now before he got arrested for like robbing people and and money in the car parks and stuff. He did. He already had a crime, so he was already arrested before and was put into jail by robbing a pharmacy store, which is like the store that sells medicine and stuff. And the person who did that is called Kevin. He is like the personality that does crimes. He's very good at criming and stuff. So he goes to the pharmacy store, get rob people and get arrested. So you can see he's not exactly very good. He just like does crimes. Anyway, he put he was put into jail, but when he was in jail. Like I said, you know the Regan I was talking about that was very strong and stuff. Yeah, he's the personality that comes out whenever there's danger. So he's like the protect you kind of personality. So when he got put into jail, his body thinks that is danger. So Regan comes out and then spent like a couple years in jail. So basically, Kevin does the crime and Regan get punished. Very sad. Now when Regan come out, his personality changed to another female character called Adana. Adlana, I forgot her name. Anyway, she's really nice and she doesn't really talk that much. Anyway, anything. So she got a job in like the flower store, but then while she, one day she was doing a work, she suddenly changed the personality to someone else. And that person, I don't know who it is, but is really confused. It's like, why am I working here? And then the boss fired him because, you know, he was being a bit of a sped. So. His boss fired him, and then he went to get another job, and then the personality suddenly changed again, and his his other boss that fired him again. So this re- process keep on repeating until they ran out of money, so they have no money left, and then this Regan have to show up again and gotta like get them money. Now this Regan is like very strong and like protect you, but he's not very smart, so he does how he doesn't really how to know how to get money, and then he just saw this female in the car park, and then he started talking to him. No one really sure what what he's trying to do. He might like want to borrow money or something. So while the process of talking to this woman, Kevin suddenly changed back, and then this Kevin started robbing the woman, and then he robbed the move woman, and then but when he got home, Kevin's personality changed to Tommy, which is the person who's really good at escaping and stuff. So he got home and had the all these money that Kevin just robbed, and then Tommy was like, "Oh, money!" And then he spent all the money in one week. So once they ran out of money again, this Regan have to show up. Does Regan show up again? He try to get money. He get money. Goes back. Tommy comes back. Spent all the money. That's why he robbed like the cases three times in under ten days because he's always like robbing, and then Tommy always spent all the money, and then he always robs back, and then Tommy always spends the money again. So it's very hard. So then, because Billy has multi dissociative identity disorders, so all the crimes that he made is like committed as nothing, so he won't put, be put into jail. But he's not allowed to return to the society unless all his like personalities are like healed. So unless he has, he stays in one personality, he otherwise he won't be going. He should. He isn't allowed to go to jail. So for the rest, about like. Six years or seven years, I think I forgot. He's spending like the psychologist, this hospital and stuff, fixing his brain. So then the doctors have to pick one personality out of the twenty-four personalities about who should be the one that returning to the society. Now, obviously, 
you guys might think it's Billy, his original personality, of course. But Billy, this personality, like, he often just, like, disappears because he, when he's facing danger, other people will come out. So it will be really hard for him to control all the 23 personalities. And he's only, like, 19 years old. He's been slept for, like, seven years, and then he re didn't really, like, learn anything. So he isn't, like, this smart person or anything. So they pick the teacher which has, like, the memory of all 24 personalities. So, like, he can still carry on. And up to about seven years later, all the personalities are finally, like, destroyed. And then what's left is the teacher's personality, which is only one. And he was, like, free to society. Now, in 2009, which, when the teacher was 24 years old, there was another, there were still reporters asking him. And then they asked him, like, can you, are you sure you can, like, Contro are you sure that all the personalities are destroyed and stuff? And the teacher said he none of the personalities are actually destroyed. He just managed to like control them, like they just man never appear. So it's actually really hard for him to do that because it's a very painful. Now Regan is the strongest one, and Arthur is like the most powerful one that controls the people. But Regan is like very nice and stuff, which like agrees on the teacher, so it doesn't show up if he wants to. But this Arthur is like the, the really the one to like hard to stop because this Arthur has like the most power and stuff. But still, he sometimes managed to like keep him like asleep so he never wakes up. Even though he's managed like to control 24 personalities, he's still like there's still a risk of them showing up. So when he's asleep, sometimes he has to tie himself into the bed so he doesn't move. And when he's asleep, obviously he doesn't need to control all 24 personalities. He only need to control Tommy. Because if Tommy wakes up, then he can like break the ropes easily. But if other 23, 22 personalities wake up, they, won't, they can't do anything to the rope because they're tied up on the bed. Now have you ever think what a dude this will be if he's like developed as Asian and he can control who's going to be standing in what time? Like, he knows all the musical instruments. There are many people that play musical instruments, all different types. And he can speak, like, tons of different languages. And he knows how to fight. And he knows how to use weapons. And he's very good at escaping. And he's very good at, like, intimating, talking, and socializing and stuff. Like, he knows everything, mate. Like, you see, James Bond is a good agent. But if he was trained and stuff... He'll be like the double double o the double o seven, you know. He'll be like double double o seven. He's insane, my G. And that'll probably be the end of the thing. Um, Billy died when he was fifty nine, so in two thousand fourteen. And obviously, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching to you here. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll have to say this, but you might hate it. So, but please click that like button if you like it. Or the subscribe button, even if I only have two videos, but I'll continue making more. Thank you very much. Baby, shut do 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 do, baby, shut do 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 do. Alright, see ya.